Hi, welcome back to Branching Out with Curtis Hanlon. I'm Curtis Hanlon. Today, this week, we're going to be working on a solar air heater. So I'm going to go out to the back there where we have some panes of glass. We're going to pick out a specific pane of glass that is suitable for our needs. And we're going to measure it. Then we're going to come back in here in the shop and we're going to cut out a bunch of the parts and pre-assemble or pre-cut and measure to get it ready for either full assembly in the greenhouse or final assembly in the greenhouse. Either way, we're going to get out there, measure a piece of glass, then we're going to come back here in here and I'm going to show you all the parts you're going to need for what I'm building, how much it costs, and uh, how to put it together. So stay tuned. Let's get out there and get some measurements. All right, so we're out here in the back of the greenhouse, or sorry, back of my shop. And these are all the panes of glass that my brother had collected for a little while. So we're going to look for the perfect one. But first, I'm going to have to clear out all this snow. So let's get to work. Okay, so we're back in the uh, shop here, and we're going to need a few 2 by 4s for this project. I, use, I bought these uh, downspouts here. These are 2 by 3 so these are brown. I will be painting them flat black. Everything will be painted flat black except the glass to absorb as much as the heat of the sun's rays as we can. I have a 10 watt solar panel to run the computer fan that will allow the air to come to flow through the air heater. And we have our piece of glass here, which we haven't taken measurements yet of, but we'll be cleaning that up a little bit, of course. And we got a piece of half inch plywood and some foil backing. This is foil backed insulation, rigid insulation, three quarter. So we're going to use that to insulate the back part of it and it will be painted. And then what you're going to need is some, obviously some black, flat black paint right here and some possibly some silicone. And don't forget that computer fan that you're probably going to need there too as well. So let's get started building the frame or the structure or at least getting the parts cut to size and we'll move on from there. So the first thing we're going to do is measure the glass. Uh, we have our parts cut now. These are, uh, it doesn't matter. You're going to have to figure out your own measurements for the piece of glass that you're using. My glass is going to sit flush on the top to the edge basically. And then I'll, I'll put two little, a couple of little pieces in there to, uh, Make sure it can't move around as much but it'll also be uh well, well we'll figure that out i'll show you when we get near the end but here we're going to do is we're going to build the box frame first and then we're going to add the insulation to the back uh and then we're going to cut the dry uh plywood and then we're going to make the backing and then we're going to go from there so let's get this first part started and we'll just do some uh we'll just do some hollywood magic so here we go Okay, it's that simple. Throw a little frame in there. Next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna cut two pieces for the inner spot to create a chamber here and at the bottom. And that's gonna allow us to create our airflow to go up and down, up and down. So that's what we're gonna work on next. Let's get this measurement right here, but we're always gonna measure from the top corners to make sure that any bowing will get straightened out in that middle. So all I have to do is figure out the size of which I'm gonna do this. Um, my downspouts are 10 feet, so if I get five feet in there, I can get two out of each one of those. If I can't, then I'm going to be short, and that's just going to be a big waste of what I bought. So we're definitely going to figure out the right size. So let me get into that, and then we'll come back, and I'll explain what I did and what measurement I ended up using. All right, because I had a spare, it's white. We are going to paint all of this black anyways. It doesn't matter. These are uh, 58 and 3 quarters each long. That's going to give us enough gap in the middle. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to take this as a rail and we're going to have these go inside here. So we're going to do that sort of like that. And then each one's going to fit up inside there. So now what I have to do is figure out what the pattern is to cut this out. Now, what okay, I'm going to so do is I'm I've got all my, I don't even know what you call these, but I got them all marked out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole in here and then uh, cut out the center. So that's what I'm going to do. And... And we'll go from there. I'll okay, so here we are again. And I had to cut each and every one of those holes out with a scroll saw. So 
We got them all done. Now, now our goal is to take these and get them in here, fitting on each side. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a glue gun to fill in the gaps. You can see there might be a gap in there. I don't know if you can catch that on the video, but we're gonna fill in those little spots a little bit so that the air doesn't flow through it because we don't want, we want the air to flow inside the tube. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get into a little warmer area instead of in here, it's cold in here. And I'm going to work on that. So we're gonna get that together. And then once that piece is together, we're gonna attach it to here. So once we get that to here, then it's just the bottom, uh, a matter of uh, figuring out how far to keep it from the top and the bottom, which I can do a simple measurement and figure that out. But that's the next step. All right, I got all the baffles done. You can see they're all done. Now I'm just gonna paint it black. All right, while our baffles are drying, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the, I've already got this insulation cut uh, to size. I have the wood backing cut to size. The backing is gonna go through this into the frame itself. And I've already wiped down one side of the glass with ammonia. In other words, to try and clean it as best I can on one side and that'll be the inside. And then on the outside, I can come back later and obviously I can clean it up whenever I want with some Windex. So let's get started. Let's get this onto here. And then all we gotta do is wait for those baffles to dry, make sure everything's painted up real nice and uh, we'll install it. So stay tuned. All right, the baffles are painted. Now we just gotta get them into the housing itself. Oh no. Maybe get another piece of tape in here to kinda solidify that a little bit, but let's get it into the box, okay? All right, so now we're gonna wanna put in our dividers to allow the uh, the constant bend up and down because we want the air to travel to go through each baffle to get um, to get the uh, the heat to uh, multiply itself and then come out. This will be the out and then that'll be the in. So I want to get these baffled in. So let's get those done as well. All right, so baffles are in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole on one side and then on the top of another or on the back of the other. So we're going to drain or draw in this way, up and around and then out this way. And that'll allow the air to come out and not shoot straight up because heat rises. So I don't want to shoot it up. I want to bring it down. So what I'll probably end up adding later on is probably a flexi hose um, to bring it closer to the ground. Um, if this really does work out, I'm definitely going to be digging a trench in the uh, greenhouse come fall and fill it with gravel and a pitted, or excuse me, a perforated pipe all the way down. And this will be connected to that pipe and that'll heat up that entire strip in the center of my greenhouse. So until we do that, let's just get that hole put in here and here. I'm definitely going to need a bug vent because I can't, I can't just open it up. It'll give it a place for you know mice and other bugs and possibly bees to nest in there so and we definitely put one of those on there and that's just some screening that i had left over and then we got our other hole over here obviously so that's done now on to the next step which is painted all black all right so it's all painted now now we're just gonna wait for it to dry then we're gonna get some silicone we're gonna silicone all the edges and then we'll put the glass on. But before we do that, we're gonna put little braces right here to hold it, to, to make sure it stays in place. Okay, paint's semi dry, dry enough. We're gonna to wanna to get the glass on now. I've already installed the fan right here. So we're gonna try and figure this out. I am no electrical genius. So I hope I can figure that one out. We're gonna hook it up to the solar panel so that this thing only works when the sun is out in order to get the heat that we want, right? We don't wanna be running when it's cold because then we just blow in cold air. So this is a 10 watt solar panel. I got it from PV, which is going out of business. So now we clean the one side. I'll worry about the other side uh, once we have it installed, but we wanna check it first. So we're gonna give this a little quick run before we get it out to the greenhouse. So I'm gonna go get some silicone. We're gonna silicone these edges. 
as I said. And then we have these little, these little braces here should uh, help hold that glass from sliding side to side. And what I'll end up doing is maybe put a piece across and tack it in there so that it, it can't come off regardless. So that's the idea anyways. So let's go get some silicone. Okay, glass is on. I just happen to have some black silicone. So I use that and it's on. So we just gotta clean the outside. And the next thing we wanna do is attach the solar panel. So we're gonna attach the solar panel and see how she works. Um, we're off, so I'm gonna leave it here for a week before we put it in the greenhouse anyways, because I want the uh, silicone to set uh, and everything else to dry. And I really just don't have the time right now. So let's get going. Let's get that solar panel attached. All right, now, so we got it hooked up. The sun isn't like super bright, but it's enough to make that solar panel start working. And I got the cord hooked up to the red and the black wire, which is, you know, negative positive. And we got a fan going. It's running. So I can feel the air coming out of it, even if it was a little bit of air. But we'll see how about power. I do have other solar panels I could use possibly if I have to upgrade to uh, create a lot more uh, more draw on here. But I definitely have it hooked up right. So that's it. It's complete. I put these little stands here because when it goes out there, I'm going to want it to sit on its own and uh, stand on an angle. 30 to 35 degrees is basically ideal for a solar panel. But you can hear the fan going up and down depending on the cloud, right? Either way, I love it. It's done. And that's it. And that's how you build a solar panel, or excuse me, a solar air heater. Now, it's obviously the panel itself is not hot yet because the sun's not really shining on it. But we will do another test. So stay tuned for that. And we will check the temperature going in and the temperature coming out. And that's about it. So thanks for watching this video. And uh, I hope you learned something. Now, the entire cost of all of this was two, four two by fours, four pieces of 10 foot two by three uh, downspout, uh, some scrap wood here and there, some scrap uh, silicone. Uh, the glass I had, you can get that on Marketplace. Uh, if you look around, they give that stuff away. They'll let you come and take it for free if you find the right spot. It doesn't have to be this big. This is just how big I made it. So you can adjust your size accordingly. And uh, the fan was kind of free from an old computer, which you could probably pick one up really pretty cheap at any electrical store. Or if we had Radio Shack, you could grab one from there, but we don't. So you'll have to look around for that. Uh, and then some spray paint and the solar panel. The solar panel was about 50 bucks. So all in all, this cost me just under $300 to do this. So don't forget to reuse and recycle what you got and work with what you have and not with what you don't. And uh, we'll see you next week. So come back next week. We'll make another video.